Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to look just briefly at laminin. Laminin is part of the human body. It's also a part of the bodies of animals. All right, so let's look at a definition and a little bit of a description of laminin. What is it? It's a protein that is found in the human body and in animal bodies and it's in the extracellular matrix the sheets of protein that form the base of all internal organs. So they're these sheets of protein that are forming the base of every one of your organs. Now, the laminin has four arms, four arms that can bind to four other molecules. The three shorter arms on the top bind to other laminin mo molecules and that forms the sheets of protein. The sheets of protein are the base of all the internal organs. The long arm at the bottom binds to cells and those cells connect and hold the organs to the membrane. So are you getting the idea that laminin is a protein found in the human body that forms when they join together sheets of protein that form the base of all your internal organs. So this laminin is a protein that is holding you together. It is holding your body together. Let's look at a picture of laminin. Here is an artist's drawing and that is kind of ideally what it looks like as an artist would draw it. This is an actual picture. I drew, I copied the picture off the page, but this is what it looks like in the human body, in real life. A microscopic picture of a laminin protein looks like that. So we're seeing here that laminin is the part of the human body that holds the whole thing together and it is in the shape of a cross. Now let's read Colossians 1.17. It says, Jesus Christ, He, He is before all things and in Him all things hold together. He's the Creator. We're the created being. He created our bodies. The laminin protein is a picture of Jesus Christ, and that is the part of our body that holds it all together, okay? So laminin, a real simple def definition for those of us who are not PhD scientists, laminin holds the human body together like rebar. You know when they're doing construction and they do the uh, base of the house, like the basement, and then they will end up putting these rebars all around. At each level, they have to put the rebar because it holds the different levels and the different pieces of the house together. So the rebar in construction is like laminin in the human body and in animal bodies. So laminin holds the human body together like rebar Okay, so we've seen laminin. We see it's in the shape of a cross. We know that it's holding the human body together like rebar. So let me read to you in the Amplified Colossians 1, 15 through 17. Now he is the exact, Jesus Christ, the exact likeness of the unseen God, the visible representation of the invisible, he is the firstborn of all creation. For it was in him that all things were created, in heaven and on earth, things seen and things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or authorities. All things were created and exist through him, by his service, by his intervention, and in and for him. And he himself existed before all things, and in him all things consist, or cohere, or are held together. 
So when we're listening to the scriptures in Colossians, we can go look at a part of the human body and see the mark of God on our bodies. This is laminin. Jesus Christ made it. It's his thing. And he created our bodies, and this is the protein that holds our bodies together. It's in the shape of a cross, and it's called laminin. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention if you haven't heard of that. And I hope that it has been a blessing. And I pray God's blessing over you and your families. I'll see you next time.